Hi everyone, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to another hardcore episode. I believe we're on episode 42. Chilling over here back at the goat sanctuary that we had made last episode, and I appreciate you guys for watching that. Take a step back to the bare beach over here. Not too bad. I believe the goats are happy. We could fly over here real quick and just double check. Hop in here. Goats, where you at? What's up, goats? Are you happy? How about you? Uh, over here, are you happy? Happy enough to make a baby goat. Let's go. You know what? I think this baby goat over here is going to be Gary. That was one of my favorite uh, comments that you guys left in the last episode. And the other favorite that you guys had left was Gertrude. So now we have Gertrude, Gary. Guys, keep naming these goats, man. I'm loving all the name suggestions. Keep them coming. Been trying to get some goat horns to get some of these guys to run into the wall, but uh, they seem to be kind of ignoring me for the most part. He's looking at me. Is he going to do something? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep. No, that didn't work. Oh god, Gertrude, I didn't think it would be you. What are you doing up there, bud? How do you be? And oh my god, did I hold up? One okay, so one of these guys must have accidentally just hit the wall behind me while I was looking the other way. That is a deep note right there. Oh my god. I think we may have already found this goat horn, but uh, there's plenty more to find. Look at all these goats. Baby goat, we'll come back for you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching that episode. If you did, actually, there's a couple more things that we need to name. If you guys remember from last episode, and you know what? Actually, I haven't been up here in a while. Is the Watchman's Watchman up here? Oh my god, it's a brand new dude. And another brand... There's three people up here now. Hold up. Let's see what's going on. The Watchman's Watchman. Nobody's up here. We don't recognize any of you. You're all unrecognizable. Brand new employees or a bunch of phonies. This guy won't even look at me. But we're gonna actually hop down over here because there was a nice little pillager ca ouch, nice little pillager captain over here that we wanted to name. He's just been laying arrows into my head and shoulder for a good while now, and in my feet, I guess. My favorite name that you guys had suggested was actually Napoleon, so we're gonna give this guy Napoleon, and you're always gonna be here, dude, until you run out of arrows, you're still gonna be Napoleon. Just gonna eat this carrot and uh, get back to normal, and you're just gonna run out, dude. I don't know why you keep shooting. Sooner or later, you're not going to have anything to shoot at me. While we're over here, I want to show you guys what we did on episode 40 over here with the wood factory for the hanging signs. I actually cleaned up the path in front of it, so now we can have villagers start to take some of these jobs. We don't have to worry about any mob spawning over here. The laser hard at work. Everything over here is just looking nice now. We've been working hard on stream, and by the way, it's twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join anytime. We have been working hard on the live streams, getting everything nice and dapper over here. Look at all of these sniffers, man. I forget how big these guys are. Well, we might might as well actually take a step in here, grab some of these pitcher plants while they're fully grown. And while we're over here, let's actually close out. I hope nothing escaped. I hope there's no camels out there just wandering in the wilderness. But uh, Camel Sanctuary, I'm trying to be... What's up, cameraman? How you doing? I'm trying to be over here. I'm trying to make some more camels. You take a cactus, and how about you over here? You take a cactus. Slowly but surely, they will walk together and they will make a baby camel. This is the slowest walk to make a baby camel that I have ever seen in my life. Wow, that was about 20 seconds that I had to stand here to wait for this be- There you go, what's up buddy? Hi and down he goes. You guys actually have been throwing out a lot of camel names, and one that I liked was Coco, so we're gonna put Coco Red here. Look at the smile on Coco's face, how you doing bud? And I know we have been naming a lot of mobs already this episode, but there's actually one more that people have been mentioning in the comment section. There's a horse in front of my house with no name, and uh, I think that uh, a couple comments that I've seen, it's actually kind of funny to me, they hit me right in the funny bone, and that's just horse without an E. There you go, what's up horse, how you doing? It'll just be me and you, bud, it'll just be me and you. So I've been losing some villagers in this town, and I kind of figured out why. We'll fly right over to a well that we had made by the Dripstone Farm. I think I may have shown you guys this before, but now the problem has, I think, maybe tripled. There's a lot of villagers in here, man. Why? Why are there so many villagers in here? I don't know. I started pointing my arrow at them because I want to get this iron golem out. If I'm going to get these guys out safely, I might need to, uh, you know, get this guy out of here first. This guy just keeps... This guy right here just keeps jumping up and... Oh, God, he almost did it again. Sir, if you jump up, if you keep doing that, you are going to get hit. This iron golem only wants to hit me right now. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I think I may have accidentally got the villager, but uh, it's all right. We got the iron golem. There's a cow in here, too. I'm sorry, cow. You know, I feel like we could let some of these guys out. Okay, so let's just take this, and I'll take this, and then, alright, one by one, I'll let you guys out, but, uh, also, actually, every other one, you get this. Yep. Next person's gone, good job, and next person out, goodbye. Next person out, good job, next person out, goodbye. Looks like these guys don't even want to leave the well, really, so, and, you know, the cow wants to leave, get out of here, bud, you can get, there you go, good job. You, sir, are gone, you, sir, are gone, you, sir are gone. I didn't want to do the villager purge like this, but it had to be done. I'm super sorry, bud. 
There we go. Now we have the villagers reintegrating into society. I knew we had some villagers on this side of the town that were missing. It was feeling kind of empty. But now it's most definitely not. We got villagers just standing on top of bushes. We got a surplus of villagers over here now. There's actually also one more reason why some of the villagers are missing. If we fly over to where the goat sanctuary is over here, the nether portal that I had built, uh, we need to build some stuff around it. We might need to cage this off because I think there's been some villagers that have been going in here. Hop out and yep, yep, we still have some fishermen over here. These guys have just been going back and forth. Last time I found them, they were on the nether portal island. Also, Clarik over here, he's been here since like episode 3. We definitely need to get him back home. This chicken's in here now too, sir. You do not belong. You know what? I will let- I'll allow it. I'll allow you to be in here though. While I'm here though, gathering all of this glass to make these hallways, it, uh, it took a while and I had to actually smelt a lot of it using blaze rods. So we might as well head back to the blaze farm for a little bit while I'm in the nether right now. I'm gonna fly over this way right past the frog light farm. And now I'm actually thinking I never made myself a path over to this little area where the blaze farm is. Let's jump down real quick. I mean, it's only like a couple hundred blocks. We could just connect to this hallway, take a right at the frog light farm instead of a left here. Not a bad idea. You know what? I think we should just get that connected right now. I think maybe a Twitch stream or two could actually get this job done right here. This blaze farm is looking a little empty too. We can make these walls look pretty good. Remember on stream too, I put another portal here thinking it was a good idea. And I was like, yeah, I'll just connect it back to my home. And, uh, nope, I'm out in the middle of the ocean, uh, in the middle of nowhere. This thing, uh, actually is useless. We are flying down here, and boom, we have stopped. We got some torch flowers to signify the beginning of a right turn here, and we are gonna fly all the way over to the entrance. We got an ender chest right here to stop us. I might as well take some of this stuff out. Actually, some of the leads I'm keeping in here because some of the frogs, while building this on stream, we had some of the frogs escape from the frog light farm down there and uh, so I figured you know what we need to keep some surplus leads in here because they'd be escaping but we did actually make this place look a lot cozier so now when we chill in here we have a nice safe area over here I don't think anything's gonna actually get into the hallway we made it non-spawnable but now at least we have a nice cozy spot to be able to slash and hack at some of these guys thank you for the blaze rod sir I do appreciate it and we actually do have a bunch of them already to take back Got the torch flowers hanging in here, also in the sides, because, you know, I feel like the torch flowers match the fiery blazes. And we actually tucked the nether portal all the way back here instead of right next to it, so we don't have to listen to this sound the whole time. Grab a couple more blaze rods, and actually, let's just head out. I wanted to uh, go back home. Let's try to start the build. Never gonna get over how quickly we get home over here. Oh my god, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little villager over there. Look at that guy. Look at him! It's a jungle villager. I'm gonna have to actually get all the way down through the tunnel this way. Let's go over here. Let's hop up and fly over. Sir, I think we need to save you. Sir, hello, what are you doing here? You can't be here. We're gonna do what we need to do to get this guy home safely. Hoglins are everywhere. Let's make a nice little staircase. And this guy just fell. Sir, what? No! I had a perfect staircase leading to a perfect little doorway for him and he just decided to leave. Oh, he's all the way over there. Dude, what are you doing? This guy keeps running away to the farthest corner of the nether. I have, there's actually, I don't think, I don't even think he wants to go home. I think he actually likes the nether. So you know what? You can stay up here, man. This guy just, ow. Okay, no, we're not playing that right now. I'm going to chill over here and you're going to chill down. Okay, he just needs to, got immediately distracted and yeeted by the hoglin. Dude, you should have just been attacking me instead. The hoglin also over here. Sir, what are you doing? You got to get out. Okay, that's enough nether shenanigans. Let's go back home. This guy's making himself right at home. Sir, do you need help? Do, do you need help, sir? Do you need help? I don't know how to help you other than that. And all right, I'll see you later. One of the fishermen actually just came out and took this bed, sir. I hope you enjoy yourself here because you're not going to be able to really leave this island. Lying back home, we got a goal board right here, and we had a couple things that we could be working on. We have a donkey, we have the cat sanctuary, kelp farm, sweet berry farm, toolsmith trading hall, leather worker trading hall, and a glow squid farm. Some of these are a little bit more important than others, but uh, I'm actually thinking, you guys have been asking in the comment section about a cat sanctuary for a good while now, so you know what, let's get that done today, and do not have enough room to pick that up. Let's, uh, let's get all the materials necessary to build a cat sanctuary. We might actually have already half of the cats. I know we have a dog right there. Oh, we have a black cat right here. We have the tan cat right here. Get you up off the ground. We got to get this other cat. Actually, wait, we'll leave one cat here on the bed, but we'll get you up. And that guy's been looking at this wall since like episode one, I think. We got we to gotta get these cats out of here. Looks like you're an outdoor cat now, buddy. What are you going to do? 
gonna enjoy your life, bud? You better enjoy it. I'm thinking we should probably build the cat sanctuary maybe in this little area right here next to the torch flower farm, but there's also a little bit of empty space over here as well. Wait a second. This is a camel. Hold up a sec. Buddy, what are you doing here? And taking a nap right there. Love it, dude. This is, you know what? That's great. You don't have to be in the sanctuary if you don't really want to. These guys are big enough that they're pretty easy to find. I think there's there's got to be another one around here somewhere, though, because a couple of them are missing. This is going to be a little bit of a different color palette, though. We're going to start with the stone on the bottom. I want to see what it looks like when we have the spruce wood with acacia planks behind it. I think spruce wood looks great, but uh, I want to see what it looks like stripped with this orange wood. You know what? That's not that bad. I think if we get a little bit of birch wood in here, too, I think that'd look great. Get all this worked out. Nothing like a quick twitch stream can't handle. This camel has been moving and grooving. He's all the way over here next to the weaponsmith trading hall with a smile on his face, too. But what we did actually was decide on the stream to move over right next to the shulker box storage hall and the weaponsmith trading hall that uh, right now we're using all of the colors of the cats that we have so far. We have the black for the black cat down there on the deep slate. The orange cat down there is with the acacia in the middle. And then we also have this tan cat right here, which kind of closely resembles the birch wood to me. So we're going to hop along the side here. I actually just wanted to get the birch fences below some of these deep slate walls. And I think when we're looking at this side of the building, it is pretty bare. I think I'm going to go up. Uh, we could probably decide to put some of the stairs right here and put the walls below it with the birch fence below that. And you know what? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Now, something that I've been doing on most of the builds is putting the campfires on the stone on the edge of the build like so right here. Covering this up with the trap doors. But what we haven't done is make an open room, kind of like what we have right here, and use basalt for the top layer of this build. So we actually ended up with a huge surplus of basalt when we were connecting up all those portals and in the nether highway. So actually, I'm thinking that the cobbled deep slate is the closest stair block because there's no basalt stairs. Minecraft, please give us basalt stairs. No, there's a white cat out there and there is a third floor worth of blocks we need to put on. So I think calcite is what we'll put up there. If we fly around here, I know for the roof, the tan cat, it kind of does have some birch qualities, but it also has these oak qualities. And there goes that. I need to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. But I'm thinking oak is the way to go. And oh my gosh, this is loud. I need to take some of these out. This is kind of about to be like the hanging sign factory where we use pretty much every single wood type except we don't really have a pink cat so we're probably not going to use pink cherry wood the only one right now that we're kind of leaving out is dark oak wood but uh, you know we'll find a place later on for it got to take these noisy troublemakers out too the oak's looking good up here and on the lower level roof but i think we're gonna have to add some more birch i actually have some huge lines of birch all the way back here we need to strip them because uh yeah it's time to make some more hanging signs Giving you a sneak peek into some of the manual labor that we got going on here. But it's all in the name of hanging signs. We're just going to go boop right there. We'll go boop right there. I think birch hanging signs are my favorite hanging signs. We have been stripping birch wood like every other day. Coming in here to the interior. It's not much yet, actually. Pretty much it's, it's nothing. But I want to do something a little bit more natural like what we did with the goats. This episode was super fun and I would love to do something similar for the cats. You know what? Speaking of cats, I, I only have three. We got to go out and look for more, man. Coming back home here. It looks like we actually only have some raw salmon on us, but this should do. This is probably enough to go get the rest of the cats. I know there's some cats that are spawning somewhere in my village, but it's going to take a while to just run around and find them. I, I hear some meows every now and then, but I honestly can't find them. And they might have spawned like underground somewhere. So that's going to be a little difficult. So I'm probably actually just going to fly to some villages. There's that Savannah village that I could go to right over here. Actually, you know what? Quick detour. I know for a fact that there are some cats at the desert village. This also gives us a reason to fly right over Rainbow Mountain. What's going on, Rainbow Mountain? It's long time no see. I haven't been over here in a while, even on stream. I haven't been on stream on Rainbow Mountain in about a month. I was hacking away at the work here for a good while, and I just needed to give myself a little bit of a break. Also, we were kind of starting to run out of wool, so I'm glad that we kind of stopped because now we can replenish up our surplus. Now, there should be a cat here. I remember a bunch of meows happening when I was setting up this villager transport system. These guys are caught on the rails and caught up in love. Look at that. This is amazing. Sometimes the cats in desert villages venture out because they'll see the bunnies and they will just go. Yeah, and I'm not really seeing any cats here. Okay, we're going to the Savannah Village. We used a bunch of cats for the creeper farm, but, you know, we can find those cats again. Not finding a cat in the Savannah Village either. What is going on here? 
strange too because there's a bunch of villagers here and uh, no cat in sight except for one cat on the ledge down there my buddy i have found you let's save you here we go so while you actually can't move anywhere i'm going to come down here and give you some actually wait am i going to eat the salmon kitty eat the salmon yeah all right we, we made a friend take this down here oh no kitty come back Okay, never mind. He's chilling right here. Just stay there, but okay, get up and follow me. Do not be down in this cave anymore. Nice. We have officially saved a cat. What's going on? I know if you use an elytra, like sometimes the animals have a hard time following you, but if I like just do quick short trips like that with the elytra, eh, oh wow, that is a teleporting cat right there. Let's do some elytra hops is what we're going to call it right here. Where's the cat? He's right here, let's go! We are running right past the floating wheat field. What's up, chicken? How you doing over there? But, uh, yeah, I actually remembered that we have a cat that's all the way out here in the ocean. We gotta get you out here too, bud. Camel's still over here holding his head high and mighty. What's going on, dude? I'm just gonna let this guy roam free. He just be doing whatever he wants to do, pretty much wherever he wants to do it. But uh, let's go add the cat to the collection over here. The brown cat somehow got lost on the way, but uh, it is what it is. It'll, it'll, it'll somehow teleport here. Now we do have some white on the cat here, so I feel like it's only right to get to the third floor with some calcite. We'll actually just put some right here. We'll move up and go up right here, and I think that's what we're going to need. Block it up on this side as well, and man, the sound of placing calcite is just amazing. Well, I don't know how this happened, but this camel right here, he is looking fabulous. Look at that guy. Just does whatever he wants, whenever he wants to do it. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave him there. I was gonna let him down, but we'll just leave him there for now. You are a spectacle, sir. You are an absolute spectacle. We have one brown, one orange, one black cat, one tan cat, and one cat that's a little bit of a mixture of all of them. And on stream today, I found a cat that I had completely forgotten about. Look at this guy right in the front. Sir, what are you doing? Come with me. There's probably a couple cats like around the town that I had tamed recently and or just a long time ago and had completely forgotten about them bring this cat back home with the camel and the other cats but uh we actually have the exterior done for the most part i think i was actually going to take a lot of this down and get some stairs up over here over here could be the official entrance from the side of the road and i just broke that melon get all this stuff out of the way here and give ourselves an official entrance into this sanctuary also, before I can call the exterior done, I think the roof over here it is looking a little plain. Normally I use a lot of different trap doors up here, but I used about half of what I normally do. So I'm going to come up with a different trap door. I do think the jungle trap doors look good in between the oak, so if it grows on me, then great. And if it doesn't, then I will just take them back down, but at least we tried it. I also have a brand new style that I was trying out today where the stairs are alternating between the campfires on the bottom row. I almost forgot we can't call the exterior done until all of these empty plant pots have an oxidaisy in them. This camel wants to be in this build so bad. Sorry, sir. We already did a camel sanctuary. We got to do the cat sanctuary today. Now, as far as the interior goes, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to try to get it a little bit more natural, kind of like the goat sanctuary. So we'll probably do a little bit of a dirt stairway mixed in with a little bit of moss here and there but I feel like this will be nice for the cats. I also wanted to make some areas where the cats can literally hang out. Like if we actually bring some of the fences down here like this and get some of the trap doors like this right here. All right, okay, okay there you are. All right, let's uh, sit you down here. I'm just gonna push you right over onto the jungle trap door and this is going to be your swing. We got the chains on it now, get a little bit of light up in here. This is gonna be the first of many hanging cat trees. This guy's absolutely loving it. As a part of our grand entrance, I decided to put some azalea bushes on top of some flowering azalea leaves, and we're gonna go over this way. I decided, uh, let's not go with the all-natural staircase, let's just go with the stone, I thought it might look a little bit better. Needed to put a little bit more decoration over here, so I'm gonna put some candles on each side over here. What I did was actually connect from the ceiling a cat tree that goes all the way down to the bottom to the ground down here. Got some cats that we already moved in and the ocelot I tied up because you can't really tame these guys and I know they do break leads because I had another ocelot right here that I caught on stream and it escaped and I caught the lead but I don't have the ocelot and I don't know where he went because we have gates in here and that means the ocelot jumped over the gates. I don't even know where that guy possibly could have gone. But let's go outside real fast and let's bring some of those cats inside. We have all of the cats here still except for a few of them. I know we don't have the British short hair. We also don't have the white cat yet, but uh, you know, we can always go out and look for that. We have all the time in the world and in the meantime, we can just make some more cats. Let's just uh, take this right here. Take, you know what? Let's just make a bunch of baby kittens. Baby kittens all day. Let's go, dude. Let's see if we can get all of these cats to follow me inside here. 
And there we go. So what I'm going to do is actually climb up the scaffolding and see if we can get some of these cats to hang out on these spruce trap doors. Come up here, cats. Get up here. You can see all these guys trying to get up, but it really is... Oh, he's... Okay, hold on. We're going to get you sat down. These tiny kittens are absolutely perfect. I always forget that these are in the game. Honestly, baby turtles are... I always say those are my favorite mob, but I mean, how can you forget about the kitten? And we just have an absurd amount of meowing going on in this place. I'm actually going to head out for a moment just to get one last look at the exterior here. And I am just going to leave this guy here. I'm not... I can't get over that. This is amazing. Note to self in the future, camels can climb scaffolding. Take a flight out this way and take a step back and... Yes, dude. I am so glad we finally have a build here. It's so nice to have something that fills this space. It's been empty for so long, and we've just been kind of neglecting this little area. This is perfect. Do we have any bone? Oh, we do have bone meal. Perfection. Let's just go ahead and take a lap around this building. Did want to thank you guys again for all the support. Thank you for becoming a YouTube member if you are, and thanks for joining the Patreon if you did. Appreciate everyone that has been joining us live on the Twitch streams as well. Episode 43 will be coming out very, very soon, and we have a nice surprise that episode, so stay on the lookout for that, and in the meantime, just take care of yourself and do something nice for somebody. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!